Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is just going to be a short video showing what I've been working on the past two days. Uh, basically, there's this competition called Ludum Dare, uh, and it's a 48 hour competition where the participants have to create a game from scratch and they have two days to do it, basically. Um, so, I just wanted to see. This is just a test. I wanted to see what exactly I can do in two days. So this is what I've been working on. It's um, uh, it's uh, it's a top-down game and it's tile-based movement called Diamond Hunter. I hope I spelled it right. Yeah, and um, it uses tile-based movement like Pokemon. So <laughs> the uh, movement logic was considerably easier than any of the other stuff I've done. I mean, the there's really no collision detection here. It's just checking whether or not I can actually move into the next tile. Um, so this is a puzzle collecting game. The point of the game is to try to find all of the diamonds in the game uh, in order to beat it, and uh, there are certain uh, items that you need to collect in order to get past uh, certain places like here there's water you can't get over there and over there there's an axe uh, you have to find out how to get over there and um, oh look suspicious looking tree over there I wonder if I have to use the axe to break it down so it's a very simple game arrow keys to move space to use the item that you have which in this case is only the axe and that's pretty much it, just the arrow keys in space. Um, so that's the game. Uh, you can go ahead and play it if you want. I'm gonna have the game and the source code in the description. Uh, I think there might possibly be some useful um, tutorial value in here, so I've decided to try to document the code with uh, meaningful comments. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, maybe you can get some ideas from it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.